Oh, right. There are leaves around. And I know just the tune. Uh, there's new stuff around and and new quests, but I want to finish this one first because it still can access everything on the desert. But they launched quite fast everything, it seems, around Sumeru. That region took so long between reviews. Oh yeah, let me spend some primogens, see if I get Nahida. I got Nilo during... Uh, no, that was on weekend yesterday, no, two or three days ago, I got her. Oh yeah, I already maxed out my friendship with Kali, so now I'm gonna ditch her. I was quite lucky, I guess, to get Nilo because I got a second Jean uh, pretty recently. Yeah, Jean, I think I got the second one. During its clan number. Uh -huh. Uh, let me stop. I kind of like to have Tainari for my party. Ah, uh, yeah, let me just activate the class. No. Okay. That's the main. No, that's the one I'm gonna do. I want to finish this one first. And then I'll start the que Archon quest tomorrow or Saturday. Probably. Time to go. Do we go there? No, hang on. That I think it's out of bounds yet. Uh, yeah. Time to go. Um, oh, I don't think I paid attention here. The terrain was shaped by the. Oh, those aren't birds or jackals. I don't think I've seen those before. I mean, I came here, but I didn't pay attention to those. There's no voiceover on this quest. We're finally here. But is the alcohol still clouding my mind? Or has the sand started my vision? Is this really the place we're looking for? I can see Kajinisut, but it feels like I also don't. Huh? Actually, I didn't mean to ask. You clearly can't hold your alcohol, so why are you so fond of drinking? I had hoped I would prove my fountain of wisdom, but it makes my world spin instead. Um, you're right, I really should slow down a little. But I'll be fine. Last year, Gaul gave me some invigorating dreams before we left, so I'm as clear headed as can be. It feels like we're missing a little something here. Just a little, maybe an understatement. Kajin's suit is where it should be. 
but it seems to be refusing to show itself to us. And that, and what's that supposed to mean? Look over there. Huh. It's the Aramites. They got here before us. They're everywhere. Uh, what should we do? Avoid them? No, let's go and have a little chat with them. Uh, but we didn't get along the last time, and we even fought each other. Can we even talk to them now? Seriously, do you think we're going to over there to invite them for tea? We are going to communicate in our own way, of course. Uh, and if all else fail, we'll talk with our fists. It is what my father and I are best at. Okay. Who are you? Oh, the researcher and the trader. Good, give us the stuff some information. Give you what? We don't own you anything. You're acting dumb won't save you. Take this. Oh, looks like negoti negotiations have broken down. Seriously, was it was you it even relevant? To? Here. Wind strider. Let's nip that in the foot. Let's end this now. Now you're testing my patience. Wind strider. This dance is for you. Will meet again. Order guide. Target practice. Solidify. Wind strike. Shot clouds high. Divert. Here. Character wind. Rise a storm. Everything. Where do you think you're going? See? Goodbye. Oh, how strange. It's just like they didn't go a lot. What do they mean when they mention Samuel's order? Uh, is it about Bayman? Bayman did get taken away before. Uh, it is possible. Besides Tirzad, we must protect Bayman as well. Bayman well too. Uh, they probably stayed for a while. Let's look around. There may still be some clues. I mean, stop running off with bad people. Once Tirzad has uncovered all the secrets here, he can head back and write his masterpiece. And you can come home with me, father. Just like how Paimon stays with Ignis, I'm sure you and I will be best companions. Hmm. Samuel is watching us, so we aren't safe right now. I may not want to admit it, but he knows me just as well as I know him. Nexigal's invigorating drinks are really strong. If you set me down at the table now, I'm certain I could write a million words in one go. Uh, I think I got this before. Immersion has given us the location of the trader. Uh, there's more than one key, so you don't have to obtain it by force. In case someone questions you, find a way to leave immediately. And don't ever mention our quarrel with the woman. If this works out, we'll be able to deal with her. Some maybe. What woman? Hmm. Alright. What else can we look for? This was written in code. Do not know who wrote it or why, but he has ended up here on the same. Jabra, mm, we found this. I thought, though, you're not sure if it's a useful clue. When I was still in the Tutmos, we used to leave messages for each other in code just like this. Also, can you read it, Jabra? Samuel should be aware that he can. 
and then is all this a trap? Some is it as far? Except for us. Uh, I knew your pests will come back to bite us. Come on, baby. Why don't we just return to Sumer City now? It is quite regrettable that my paper won't have its final two chapters, but I can always return again if I'm still alive. Next time, I should get help that has a clean background. We can use this against them. What do you mean? We are the latecomers here. They've been here for quite some time, and they've made some discoveries, of course. They just lack something for show, so they can't advance. And we just happen to have what they need. Amen, the stone slays. Oh, there's a slot. I think this late. That's right. Instead of taking them from us, they have a better way to get them to get what they want. Also, they like to sit back and claim the fruits of our work. Yes, they prefer it if we sold everything for them. Oh, I get it. They're the people in joint research projects that contribute nothing but take all the credit when it's time to present your findings. But they won't be able to get what they want if we get stuck here too. So we can use this against them. We can avoid a fight once everything has been covered. But Jeff, Ignis, neither of you will run from a fight, right? Of course. I've decided to punch that guy in the face when we meet again. Your minds are nothing. And yeah, we fought worse. Sorry to interrupt, but there must be a safer method, right? Just think about it. The ruins have been here for years. So just a few months or even a few years won't change anything. We can come back later. Using their plan against them is a bad idea. All four of you do seem so full of confidence, but that's just because you're skilled fighters. You're not going to fight. But there are just too many of them. Paimon can fly away and hide if things go south, but what about me? For safety's sake, we should return to Sumer City and draw up a plan. No, even our village would be fine. Those Tutmont folks may live in King Deshret, but that doesn't mean they won't touch the ruins. If we can do it through ordinary means, Samei will use other means. If they saw King Dashrod's puzzle before us, these ruins probably won't be the same when we return to yourself. What? But they're all relics. They may be precious relics to your researchers from the academia, but they clearly aren't to the Tudmons. It's just all the process, a phase. They only care about the final objective. Results are what matters to them. Tears out, you still not get it. We have no other choice now. It sends me to think that I won't get to celebrate my success because I'll have to face the fangs of the venomous snake who will leap out of the shadows. He may be in the shadows. We are prepared for him. I won't let him touch you. According to the coded letter, Awamar's throne only shows itself to the worthy who have passed the three trials. The three trials, maybe he refers to the buildings all around us. You know, there are even some huge statues here. Paimon's word that they'll just come to life. Maybe they try to defeat them. I can only hope that we are wrong. Okay, too much talk for just to tell me I have three challenges. Have some here. Uh, was that a trial? 
Ah, that opened. Come on, the camera. The camera was covering it all. Oh, okay, let me open my map. Stops. Oh. Wow. If I wasn't just gliding like that, I would have died. Because I will wait till I get close to the ground to hit the floor. Wherever uh, in this world okay. I roam, there should be I carry much memories here. of my home. This blade. Mm. It is the last link I have to the land of my birth. Uh, hell, uh, okay. Time to go. <laughs> Time to go. I know you have a boy. Time to go. Follow the All wind. Right. Time to go. Hmm. And that as well. Okay, there shouldn't be anything else here. So, what's the challenge? And that was it. The challenge was the... The... Invisible path. Okay, kind of a waste of a room. Time to go. So I thought I would have this soup fight. One single wave of enemies, at the very least. But they are. I follow the wind. Think here. Yeah. Just for crossing, right? Yeah, we can't see that opening. Oh, it didn't come in here. Or... Wind strike! Stabilize! Positions! One with the forest! Wind strike! Let's nip that in the butt. Dance with the wind. As one with wind and cloud. This is order. Solidify. In shroud. That's it. Oh, well, I didn't interact yet. Ah, uh, there's more rooms. Um, there will be nothing to collect in here. Stabilize! Wind strike! One with the forest! I hear everything. Ha. Clouds high. The birds come. I will have order. 
solidified. Here. Can't see. Gather. I'll uproot you. Wind strider. All eyes on me. As one with wind and cloud. With all my strength. Wind strider. In frown. Solidify. Wind strider. Um, just that. No rock piles, no books. Not anything for us to grab here. Time to go. Order guide you. Positions. One with the forest. Especially just report there. I'm glowing. Says there aren't benefits to a life of wandering. Time to go. As one with wind and cloud. This is order. Solidify. With all my strength. 
I'll uproot you. All eyes on me. I can grab this one again. Time to go. <laughs> Time to go. Wind strider. Positions. <laughs> One with the forest. Oh. <laughs> Who says there aren't benefits to a life of wandering? Stabilize. Fallen leaves. Adorn my. I will have order. Here. Okay, this feels more like a try. Brings a smile to my face. Oh, all right. Don't be mad. Gather. Let's nip that in the butt. Not my strength. Oh. Time to go. a smile to my face. Time to go. Time to go. Time to go. Time to go.
Time to go. There's a uh, thing of coolers on the map, but I'm not sure where it is. This is suspicious. Corner. Time to go. But I probably pass for many. Solidify. This is order. Here. Wind strike. There's no easy way up. I have to teleport or climb that. from the saints. Yeah, we're obviously inside, but where's the throne? Why would you think the throne will be facing the entrance? It isn't a reception that receptionist desk. Uh, actually, I feel like I sh shouldn't say much uh, disrespectful things about a place in a place like this. Anyway, King Dashrat's throne should be in a more dignified place. 
or in separate terms, a, a place that's higher up. The mechanisms here probably stopped working a long time ago. We got to find a way to reactivate them. Now, I can wait to see what the throne looks like. Everything linked to the King Dashra is huge, so the throne is definitely very, very huge, right? And Paimon wants to take a seat on it. Uh, something seems to be the matter with Paimon. Seems like he wants to go down. Uh, but this that said, the throne is definitely higher up. Mm, to go up, we must first go down. You cannot reach the peak without falling to your lowest. Just like, just like in life. Yes, exactly. Uh, looks like you've learned quite a bit this few, past few days. You spent in me. Okay. Hmm, not many things inside here as well. Here. Time to go. Okay, this seems to be only for that. Just someone in the car yet. No. You see. Thing. Oh, this one deactivated.
follow the wind. Order guide you. Solidify. Here. Enshroud. Yeah, I don't need that. Um, just a second. How do I match that? Oh, let's just refresh that. There are leaves around, and I know just the tune to accompany them, if you wish to hear it. I think I'm already. No, it's still there. Ah, oh, okay. That should be at the right time. Come on. that this one was easier I didn't know they have serpent faces. Time to go. I don't know what happened.
That works. Okay. This scenery is wonderful. Surely enough to convince anyone to become a wind strike. What? Did you? Chair, this chair is huge, expert should be bigger. Uh, Pomo feels like just sitting on it is gonna make Pomo super great. I want to sit on it too. So you don't see that doesn't belong to you or at all. No, I want to sit on it too. I made this a proof of a tyrant like King that shirt, but your thoughts might be a little too audacious in myself, Pomo. Anyway, nothing happened. Uh, it's something lacking, or perhaps we made a mistake somewhere. Uh, Jabrell did mention that only the Chosen may knew before the throne. Maybe we really have to knew before the throne? But I'm a researcher of the Academia, I can't knew before Tyrant's throne, and it's an empty throne too. Don't worry, it won't be an empty throne, <laughs> it won't be empty once Pymo sits there. You're seriously... Uh, Jet, please help me with Paimon, Jet. Wait, where did Jet go? She was still with us just a moment ago, right? Sameyu. Uh, Jamrael, are you still refusing to admit that you are at the most deep down? Tell deceiving makes no difference for people like us. You know it. Our Mars throne is right before us, aren't you obsessed with it too? No merit grain of sand can reject the golden slumber. Our Mars promise is the paradise that all of us dream of. Do you think betraying the Tutmos would, would be enough to deny your nature? I knew you would be back. Little Jet, do you see now? Once he laid eyes on our Mars throne, your dear father forgot everything, even you. That was my mistake, it has nothing to do with him. <laughs> You're just as stubborn as a father. But you, your talkativeness, I guess you must have gotten that from of, of Feyre, right? Samay, we sold everything for you and you brought, and brought you to the throne. Your dream should be fulfilled. Uh, your, your dream should be fulfilled. Chat is useless to you, so why keep her? I see, so you're finally showing your true colors, eh, Jabra? Use their planes against them. You're just one of them, like I expected. Uh, so this is your choice. Looks like your companions never really trusted you at all. Here's that. Your expeditions should be over now. We've explored the entire Kajnish suit. And you now have all the knowledge you need for a paper. We should start considering how to get back safely now. I, I promise to protect you until the end, and I'll keep my word. Such greed. Jarrell, I thought I knew you, but I really don't understand why you're doing right now. You're trying to shoulder every burden. Your daughter's safety, the researcher's commission, and even Omar's secrets. 
I thought you learned a lesson about greed when Ophira de died. Oh, sorry. Should I say, I thought you learned that lesson when Ophira de died. I taught you that lesson. Uh, perhaps you learned a lesson and you're prepared to pay the price now. Let's see which one among us will be the price you pay. This really keeps saying weird stuff. I was getting confused. Haven't we covered everything? And what are all of our secrets in a way? And the golden slumber. Aren't those just desert superstitions? I uh, things like that are too vague. There's no research value in them. They say anyone who gains King Dashard's wisdom is permitted to enter the golden slumber and enjoy eternal peace and happiness there. Besides ignorant children, who would take that seriously? You third-rate researcher. Oh, if Ophira were alive, she would have written multiple books by now. Someone like you has no right to talk about Almar's letters. Enough. If you wish to sit on Almar's throne, then do as you please. I won't stop you, and I won't let Tirza do that either. I open the path to Almar's throne for you. And I use tears and ignorance to make Kajnisut manifest itself. I don't think I owe tears at anything. He wanted a paper that could shock the academic world. And now he has the material that no one else has. I've helped him accomplish his objective. Now give that to me and we'll be even. And I'm really curious. Why are you always so evasive when all my secrets are mentioned? It's an empty throne, anyone can sit on it. An unqualified and major person won't become great just by sitting on it. The prayer is the key, but of course you know that. Uh, well, it all makes sense if you were planning to return alone. Unfortunately, unless you're willing to pay uh, with little Jet's life, nothing more is more, it's more important than family. Yeah, Paimon may not know what the secret of Omar uh, he keeps mentioning are, but it doesn't matter if it's the truth or if it's superstition, superstition, like Teresa said. Both strengths and endless wealth are nothing but for family. What kind of prayer has that much appeal? I refuse to believe it. But I don't mind listening. Uh, it wouldn't hurt to include it is a, uh, it wouldn't hurt include. It wouldn't hurt to include it as an anecdote in my paper. If something like that can be exchanged for Jet's safety, then stop hesitating and tell him. To be honest, I expected that we might have to fight for our lives to get home, so isn't it great that we can resolve this peacefully? I never expected to see such intense superstition. Uh, I guess my knowledge is still lacking. Perhaps this superstition it links to the to King Dashrat, as it is, may be worth studying after all. All oh, stars high above the wasteland. Gabriel recites the song, he sings softly at night in the oasis. Huh? But isn't this father? Well, why? Get ready. Yeah, that wasn't very discreet. Oh, stars high above it's the wasteland. Huh? I see. Somebody repeats the prayer. Hmm. What is this? And she looks strange. He fell asleep. No, wait, he isn't breathing. He got what he wanted. He's inside the Gondos Lumber that Omar promised. The Eternal Dreamland. So that's what he meant by Eternal Dreamland. What happened to Sameo? None of you will leave this place alive. Hmm. You just get ready for battle. Okay. Stabilize! As one with wind and cloud! Allies on me! I'll approve you! 
Can't see. Position is well. Order guide you. Gather. One with the forest. I'm getting sick. Let's nip that in the butt. Clouds hide. The birds call. Your journey ends here. Hands with the waves. I will have order. Solidify. Wind strike. I'll approve you. Pound into the ground. Positions. Gather. The golden slumber. Well, what's going on? That prayer. She brought a mission that Jet's mother deciphered it from Omar's texts. I didn't expect to be used here. But uh, is all Mars golden slumber a way to send his believers to into eternal sleep? That makes it more terrifying than I ever imagined. I really should get back and update the collective knowledge of the academic world. I think goodness Pamela didn't sit on the throne. Yes, yeah, sitting on a seat that doesn't belong to you really doesn't end well. Uh -huh. I have so many questions. Ophira made this inference about Omar's promise. Those who offer the correct prayer to Omar will be granted entry into the Golden Slumber, but it's a one-way trip. No one can move freely between the eternal dreamland and reality. It seems like Ophira was right, some mayor is gone forever. I must admit it I must admit that it was a very risky gamble. But all that matters is just safe. That's right, everyone's safe, and that's the most important thing. Uh, let me summarize the overall situation now. Jet's back safely, and Sameo's subordinates have been defeated. Sameo got his wish, didn't he? If he wasn't such a villain, I'd even feel like thanking him. Anyway, since he's in the paradise he dreamed of, I don't need his permission to use him as a case study in my paper, right? No, yeah, will his body just be there? No? Uh, all's well that ends well, huh? I, Tirzad, hereby announce that this archaeological expedition has been completed successfully and has yielded great results. Uh, is it really over? This doesn't feel real. Actually, it isn't over. I mean, the minimum requirement in the commission was to escort me safely back to our village, right? Uh, that's true. Turns out the commission isn't over, so I can't slack off just yet. But I will be free once we escort Tirzat back safely. Uh, then we, we can go wherever we want. Uh, I'm not talking about the deserts, by the way. I mean, literally anywhere. Hmm, it would be nice to meet them and bend them again. It's fine, Jet. I'm willing to accompany you wherever you want to go. As for Ophira, I, I'll tell you about, about her, if you're willing to listen. There's her research, research notes, too, but I don't know if you'll be interested in those. I was worried about losing them, so I didn't bring them along. I left them and some luggage with Boniface. Once we return to our village and get our lug luggage... Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Why is it shaking? Seriously, the one that floats is feeling the ground shaking. Does anyone else feel like something's wrong? Something's coming this way. Oh! What happens if I just leave it here? Okay, it stopped. <laughs> What's going on? How could this be? Is it some mail? Oh no, if it gained all Mars wisdom, then even if 
it's just for an instant. You would have gained Olomar's authority. Huh? You mu we must leave immediately. Nothing on any kind of cures. Hours, 20 m the entire building is trying to get us. What happens? I get curious when things like that happen. Oh no. The wind. Not cool. Well, but there were chests in there and stuff. I'll have to be able to enter again, right? The door is shut. Ignus, what do we do? We must defeat Sameo, who has stolen all of Mars' power. How? By dying too? But his physical form is in the world. In this world, must be destroyed already. Ah, uh, it would be nice if his body was just indefinitely there. So that makes him formless. Then how can we defeat him? Don't tell me he's invincible in the eternal dreamland. Uh, unless someone goes to where he is, and how to come back? Oh, he's going to sacrifice himself. Unless someone stops and defeats him in the eternal dreamland, I must I must protect you. Father, but uh, how are you going to come back? Didn't you say that no one can move freely between the eternal dreamland and reality? There's no time to lose. I promise to keep you safe until the end. I can't let you all die here. There's no time to lose. Oh, he entered there. Oh, come on. What is this place? Don't, I couldn't read what you said before. Seriously, two lines of text. I have five seconds to read. And then uh, forwards, you stay there as long as I don't click. Jabrell, you are here. I knew it. I knew it. We are the twin blades of Tutmos. Our lives dedicated to uncovering the secrets of the golden slumber. You took the long way around, but it doesn't matter anymore. We've met again here, at the end of that path. You were just lost before, but the saints of Tutmos always return before Awamar's throne. Like the dehydrated thirst for spring, or only the illusion of the eternal oasis can relieve our agony. I'm inside, the golden slumber promised by Omar. Oh, you're... Mm, you are not us yet. Uh, it's fine. Soon there will be no you. You will become part of us. This meaningless talk will be unnecessary then. No, I'm here to stop you. My mission is to protect. I must protect Jet and the others. Why? Why care for such trivial matters? Great power is right before you. It's like a torrent in the desert. Don't feel it. You should obey. All Mars will be. Will is our will. The Tutmos' dream are our dreams. No, Ophira told me that I'm not just some part of you. I am an independent person. I have my own dreams. I won't go back. Jabrael, why don't you understand? Love's just a fever. I even eliminated the infection for you. Has the heat made you lose your mind? You're the one who lost, who's lost their mind, Sameo, not me. The golden slumber that Omar promised us isn't like this. It's not a set place with only we and no I. I'm not sad, 
I know what I want. My dream is to be one with the Tutmos. Yet you, the warmth of another, I despise such feelings. It makes you weak. Your betrayal was like a blade in my chest. But I will be taking all my wisdom. And that wound I thought would never heal is nothing but a memory now. You've realized it too, haven't you? That drowsiness. Omar is summoning you into the dream. Stop arguing meaninglessly with me. Come fall into deep sleep. When you awaken again, no, when we awaken again, nothing will be left standing in our way. The Tutmos' dream will be fulfilled. Ah, so they will wake up when they get powerful enough. No, you are my enemy. My dream is... We are the dooms. And you are a grain of sand. We are one. You know this. No, I'm the treacherous grit. I abandoned the Tutmos and chose a different path. You took the long way around, but you reached the correct destination, and you made it. This is the dream hidden within your heart. I wanted to return to this place. Yes, you did. There is no hatred here, only eternal peace. No bitter salt water, only an endless spring. Sleep, Shibra, sleep. Hmm. Mm, father, his body has disappeared. He's not coming back yet. This can be. I refuse to believe it. Uh, he always keeps his promise. He promised to tell me about my mother. All of you heard him. He wouldn't lie to me. He never lies to me. He did lie to you. We discovered that. He lied to everybody. I wasn't a bad guy, but he liked everybody. I refuse to yield. Jet's right. I'm a man of my word. I promise to protect them until the end. I see. Your ties to the mundane inhibit you. Just like that infection. I just have to eliminate them. The door is open. Uh, it must be Jabra. Uh It's too shaking. Jet, it's dangerous here. We can't stay. Or else his sacrifice would mean nothing. Leave if you want. Father, father will be back. He will be so sad if he couldn't find me when he wakes up. I won't leave him. Mm, how foolish. But these trivial troubles will vanish with the wind soon. I won't let you win. Uh, I finally get it. Some may you're right. There will be no me, only us. But you are not the one who can decide our will. You can't be serious. Samuel, so the twin blades of Tutmos are equal, so die here with me. Just forgive me. You have to go on alone from now on. No, I'm sure you won't forgive me. After all, it's my first time breaking a promise to you. I can hear the voices of many here. I think I hear Ophira too. She's humming the song of her home. Oh, if only you could hear it too. If only you could hear it too. Uh, why couldn't I have told you a little more about her? Her soft curly hair and that innocent smile of hers. I have so many things I want to share with you, but I'm no longer able to distinguish if they are my memories or our memories. Sorry. The doors closed again. Thank goodness we made it out in time. Gabriel protect us, but he. Father. It must be Gabriel who opened the door first. Without him, we wouldn't have been. He fulfilled his promise. This place may not be completely safe. Let's meet up with Naxigal group and head back to our village. Uh, refusing to give up, Jesse examined the entrance to Kajni's suit time after time, only to find the door tightly shut. Behind it was that silence, things that 
ha happened and were beyond redemption. Jet, not having but to accept reality, put away your brows ex carefully. It is the only thing he has left behind. We finally managed to persuade her to come back with us to the camp. We then informed the merchants of what happened and returned to our village. But there were chests inside, so the door has to open again. Do you think that something like that happened? I then overcome less as all. Uh, I'm really sorry about what happened to Jerbel, but at least all of you returned safely. I think we may have to reconsider our career as friendly merchants. The desert is a hundred times more dangerous than I expected. Even someone as capable as Jerbel. A nobody like me doesn't have that many lives. Hmm. This may be a bad timing, but I have to ask about all of what all of you plan to do now. I believe Tears that will be returning to Summer City. Me? Yes, I will. I should head back and start writing my paper. I must record everything I witnessed. But not for academic glory or anything. Jabral did as he promised he would. Yet I I have I've always been avoiding my responsibilities. Now it's my turn, I too must shoulder my responsibilities. And as for this stone slate, I prepared a replica for reference. As for the original, I hope you keep it safe for me. I'm not trying to run from danger. It's a commission, you hear? A commission. Just think about it. I'll be completely occupied with my paper soon. But an adventurer like you will never stop adventuring, right? If we make new discoveries during this time, when we make the perfect team, a thesis material shall be mine, and the moral yours. Uh, so, have I got the other, the rest of the clearance, or if I explore around, I'll be able to get them now. That's perfect. Uh, we'll be making the best use of our resources. And Jet, what do you plan to do now? Do you have any friends you can rely on or something? Ben Ben. Father, he was so busy, he never had time for anything. He didn't leave anything behind, just that axe he always used. Father said he hoped he could meet her again in the eternal oasis. But that the day was still very, very far away. Liar, he lied to me and to my mother. He should keep his own promises. Now I have to fulfill it for him and take his ex and mother's research notes, which he kept with his luggage. To the eternal oasis, I hope they'll find true peace there. Is there anything we can do to help? Thank you, but it's alright. While I was Taking a quick look through my mother's research notes, I noticed what seemed like uh, casual diary entries on the edges of the papers of the pages. I found out that my father is from this tribe called Tanit, so I plan to look for them. Perhaps they can tell me about my father. Hmm. Oh, sorry, just I have. I'm sorry. Let's give her a moment to herself. Yeah, anyway, nothing all and I will be staying here for a while. We'll think long and hard about our future. We should be staying somewhere for some time too. Paimon just has this feeling that there are so many more secrets to uncover. Come to us if you need anything, we'll do our best to help you. And good luck on your in your adventures. Oh. No, uh, so is that eternal slumber, the eternal oasis, the afterlife for everybody, or just the people 
of the desert for these people of Sumeru. Because there are plenty of ghosts around here as well. Mm, we haven't met anybody that was resurrected ever, have we? Oh, it's you. Uh, is there anything else you want to discuss? That's not about you, bro. Do you think that I remain doubtful of him to the, until the end? I'm such an awful person. Yes, you are. Now, all I have for him is gratitude. I've never been able to commit before this, whether in academics or in life, but that ends now. I'll take the path I believe in, no matter how difficult it may be. But yeah, they may be relatives, right? He said somebody from his family was a researcher in just a man of this life and went to the desert to live in the desert, right? That's probably her mother. But he doesn't recognize the name didn't recognize by the name of Feyre, so maybe it wasn't close relative. I don't know. This is the least I can do to pay my respects to him. As I walk in that trend, to be honest, I'm starting to doubt the credibility of the articles I've read. The prayer, it gives me a strange feeling that I can't put my finger on. And Samay too, what he said. I think should study further once I get back. Of course, my main mission is still to write my paper like I originally planned. Mm, let's talk about chat for a moment. I too wish that I could do something for her, but I can't. And she refused to say anything. If she would just speak her desire, I would be willing to do anything in my power to help her. Uh, sorry, I'm still not very good at controlling my emotions. Don't apologize. Yeah, we know what you're going through at this time. Thank you, may your travel be smooth. Oh, Paimon hopes that everything will go well for you too. Paimon sure you will. Nice to go. Where are Omiri and Mirsad? Are they... Don't worry. They're both fine, it's just that they have other plans, so they won't continue working with us. Oh. So, they didn't even tell the other guy, they just left. Uh, what do we do? We can handle all the work with only the two of us. We gotta hire more people, but who do, who do want to come to our village? Forget it, let's discuss it this later. Anyway, Sars got back safely, and that's at least something to be happy about, right? I'm never letting it go <laughs> just to such a dangerous place again. What are you talking about? We are Sumter Beast merchants. What are we going to eat if our Sumter Beasts don't work? You can't simply fill your belly with wind. Even if you could, open your mouth here. I, and I guarantee that we'll, eat a, that we'll get a mouthful of sand instead. But we can let Cyrus take risks. You look pretty strong to me, so why don't you carry our goods instead? Alright, so... What do I have here? Okay, it's probably just that. <coughs> Newers have appeared. There are leaves around. Ah, okay, I got clearance there. Oh no, that's the thing I out there. But I still got to get the others. Ah, okay. And I know just the tune to accompany them, if you wish to hear it. Okay, now we'll be the others. On the costs. Anara also see remaining stuff like okay I started this one by accident but it's to strive machine works growing machines 
Um, Mingler. Yeah, okay. Those guys here don't show up around here. I don't know if I start another one. If they may take a while, they may be short. Let's see, what do you have for me? Oh, I didn't even talk to you, I was just passing by. Rose of Rose screaming my wish. Blooming from a stone, the golden rose sang to me. She sang. That's a local summer folk song called Singing Rose, right? It's such a cute song. How oh, do you know? Too bad the boy ran off halfway through, but would have loved to hear the whole thing and say hi to him. It must be new here, first time in our village. No. Uh, did I guess wrong? Let me think again. Yes. Um, well then, are you scholars looking to study abroad in Sumeru? I know that there are many foreign scholars in the academia. We don't know a lot of scholars, but we aren't quite like them ourselves. Te technically, we are adventurers. The glorious world trotting duo Pymal Ings. World trotting. Uh, that's so funny. We're super famous adventurers, believe it or not. No, I wasn't mocking you, friends from far away. Just the opposite. It's a delight to hear uplifting stories like people traveling the world. When you are as detached from the world as I am, such enthusiastic remarks can really catch you off guard. I'm sorry if I offended you. My name is Saba. I offer you my apologies, as well as my welcome to this village. Ah yes, you were, were you talking about the Rose Folk song that Ziad was singing? Rose Folk song? We can talk more about it if you're interested. I hope you will live in a your journey. Are you going to sing for Saba? I'm almost dying to hear the rest of it. Sorry, I'm not good at singing, but we can discuss what the song is about. A rose. Sure, so that kid sang about the rose granting wishes. Yes, in a tiny village like ours, we don't have a big atten atenon out like they do at the academia. Our songs are passed down orally. It's my belief that the wish granting flower is the song in the song represents the collective imagination of our ancestors. In a harsh environment like the desert, water is an extremely vital resource, so they prize water storing plants. So the more adverse the terrain, the more stories there are about plants. Uh, it's a reflection of our ancestors' yearning for a better life. At the same time, plants are also a part of the symbiotic relationship between our ancestors and the flora and fauna of the desert. However, our rose is built on sand, and the soil here is actually not suitable for cultivation of summer roses. The summer roses I planted could never grow, so if you ask me, the golden rose in the song must have been a product of people's imagination. Uh, hold on, Pymo, can you keep up any more? What? It's just, it's just making perfect sense. <laughs> Is that what I usually talk with people about, Miss Saba? You were the one curious about the song. Uh, I'm sorry, I thought since you were new here, you'd prefer such topics over farming or weather. I won't get lost somewhere between Saba symbiotic relationship and the collective imagination, but don't worry. If I understood the last sentence. You said that the land here is suitable for some more roses, right? We've also only seen them in places with moist soil. Well, this place is, is mostly sand, after all. Roses sure pick, pick customers. Speaking of roses, I was thinking that since you two are adventurers, perhaps I can hire you too. Now we're talking. We're battle-hardened adventurers. We can do any job, no problem. So, what can we help you with? I know it's ridiculous to know to want roses that don't belong here to bloom, 
But regardless, I still really want to see them. I'm embarrassed to even say it, but that is my wish. Based on what I know about the roses, they will grow if fertilized with highly concentrated dendro, even if you grow them in sand. Oh, so it makes sense somebody with a dendro vision will be able to cultivate flowers anywhere. But it's nearly impossible to get such fertilizer out here, so I'm wondering if you, you may be able to get your hands on some dendro fertilizers. We know somebody that sells fertilizers. Yes, dendro promotes plants, plant growth and works especially well on poor crops. But I'm just a normal person without a dendro vision and I lack the resources to obtain effective fertilizer. Hmm. If it's just dendro you want, this is pretty easy. We got this. Oh yeah, even the traveler got. Um, it's about my love roses, blah blah blah. Push. Can we build dendro? Are you someone with a vision? No, I technically I just asked for a friend of mine that has vision, a dendro vision. But yeah, I could have used the traveler. I haven't met anyone like that in a long time. Or a nostalgic feeling. Come on, the, okay, with Dendro maybe not, but don't Candace lives here and she has a vision. They should be fine now, right, Miss Saba? That's right, they should sprout soon if powered by Dendro. Let's just wait for a while. Gradually sprouts begin picking out of the soil. How nice, I didn't have to actually wait. They stop growing after sprouting a few leaves. They're sprouting. Time on you, you could do just about anything. Mm. The results were immediate, as I thought. Thank you. Too bad there are no flowers yet. Oh, that's normal. You can rush such things. We just rushed a lot of things now. Plants have to go through stages of growth that you are able to make them sprout is already quite amazing. Give the roses some more time to take in the nourishment. It will be better for them as well. I am very grateful for to you as it is. I wouldn't wish to bother you further. Just drop by and see them in your spare time. That would be enough. That was it. Oh, nice way did it. Set points are short like that. Just resume things, that's why I gotta help her. Mm. If it weren't for you, I don't think I'd ever seen the roses sprout. If only I knew this would happen instead of seeds, I should have brought a few more books. They're not from here. Are you surprised? Well, I guess it means that I've adapted pretty well. When I first got here, I was unable to get used to anything, whether it be the food, the housing, or anything else. Why did you came here? Yeah. But I got used to everything over time. That doesn't mean that I fully accepted my predicament, though. I suppose it is possible to make roses from similar city bloom here after all. Are you a searcher? I could have been called that once, but not anymore. I said something beyond my station and learned something I shouldn't have. Hmm. I broke the academia's taboos, so I was removed from amongst their ranks. What did you say? Curiosity is the impet impetus for seeking wisdom, but it's also the cause of sin. I only understood that after I was exiled to this place. For safety reasons, I don't think I should go into details. Alright. For safety reasons for who? If it was dangerous, they would have they would have killed you. They can't kill me. That's kind of the, the way this game is. Nobody can kill me. Mm, I thought adventurers would just come and go, never coming back to the chat after finishing their jobs. Didn't expect to have another long conversation with you. To be honest, I don't have a lot of friends to talk to anymore, to talk here. Do you think at some point... You will be able to combine fertilize my plants again? Sure. Okay then, I'll wait for you. Okay, there may be 
another quest for me but maybe waiting real days not in game days I grow some more roses you probably don't know much about them but they are very versatile and they have many uses they can be eaten turned into medicine given as gifts or fetch a good price on the market and that's just some of the more common applications the flower, leaves, and stalk of Assumer Roses also did not always look like this. They all had different appearances once upon a time. I believe geographical changes led to the changes in the rose's traits. A study of its traits could help us derive past geographical and historical information. I won't be able to explain the mechanism over just a, ca just a casual conversation, and sharing such information with adventurers is probably against the rules as well. You aren't part of the academia anymore. If you are interested in botanical evolution, you should visit the academia. They'll have more on the subject. So you're doing this for your research? No research anymore. I no longer have the right or means to pursue my own research. If you must know why, uh, you're very cursed, so you know that. I grew a lot of summer roses back in my former residence. The flowers were spectacular, and I got to see them every day. If it was possible, I wish I could see them again, just like before. That's all there is to it. I can understand that. Hot branches will just come and go, no chit chat, no expect him, okay, same thing. Here. Can I again? One with the forest! No, I don't think it won't come up. But maybe I'll have another question with her. Ah! You're just here? Candace, we're here! Oh no, this is part of the main quest. Oh damn, don't tell me this is part of the main quest. Has everyone arrived? Everyone is already waiting inside. Well, what are we waiting for? This Let's part of the main quest. Then. I didn't know this was Please. part of the main quest. Wait a moment. Before attending the meeting, I hope you can promise me one thing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is part of the main quest. I thought she was just hanging there for some reason. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna end here. Because I won't be able to go much further today before I'm to end the life. So, yeah. I really hope next time I start playing, I don't just be here halfway through the cutscene. 